Hello everyone, my name is Anthony and in today's video uh, it's a little different. I want to show you uh, basically me modeling a drone in 3ds Max. I've already modeled it uh, and this is a bicopter for now um, weighing the pros and cons between say a quadcopter and a bicopter. I think for the application such as uh, ecological monitoring, forest deployment, uh, a bicopter might be a better option primarily being these two less rotors um, it might it will have the ability to uh, be more nimble I would think and uh, it will draw much less power it'll be less noisier and you really don't want to disturb the habitats in um, say the forest or in the jungle and making the drone a bit quieter means uh, I would need to have a, a lesser number of propellers. So that's really the, the idea behind modeling a bicopter. Now the inspiration comes from um, uh, from the Bell uh, from NASA's Bell XV15, if I'm not mistaken, which is a vertical takeoff and land machine. And the newer version is, I think, the Osprey by Boeing. Uh, so the Osprey. NASA V22 Osprey and both have just two propellers it's of course a vertical takeoff and land and it has wings so that it can even glide but the objective uh, or the idea is um, it has more nimble it's uh, it has the combination of being a helicopter and a and an airplane at the same time here the wings are not modeled to uh, to fly like an airplane it's still a quadcopter is still a drone and it needs propellers to fly but the inspiration comes from those two types of models and uh, because there's a lot more literature and science behind it and how to model uh, a product like that uh, it's easier for me to design a quadcopter or a bicopter in this particular case and get the system dynamics and model from the research done on those two those two different machines so what I've done in 3ds Max is pretty much just d d done a rough sketch and I like using 3ds Max primarily being it's, um, what do you say, it's, I don't want to have the necessarily the exact measurements. Uh, my goal over here is to just draw some little, you know, few boxes uh, and get a feel of, you know, how the drone might actually look so I can render it and see how um, the product might actually look without really going more into the details of, you know, precise, precisely figuring out, you know, what components go into it, but just to get a fair idea of, you know, how it might look. And no way on is this the final product, but it gives me something to play with at least. And from here, I can refine it uh, and, and as time progresses, you know, make a much better product. So I use 3ds Max and eventually I will convert this into say either SolidWorks or you know Fusion 360. Uh, once I get a 3D printer, I'll start to fabricate certain parts and see how it all fits together. Uh, then I can design the electronics and put it into the machine and see you know whether the design that we have, uh, they, whether they all fit in together or whether it's too small or it needs to be a little bigger, uh, how the camera would fit in. So before I go more into uh, actually you know um, making the product more final, uh, this particular software cap uh, system is great for me to just prototype and get an idea of how I want the system to be. So yeah, and after rendering the the uh, the product um, or the, this model, I have I actually had a couple of uh, render renders done uh, with different um, uh, with different. Um, lighting light settings so the first one was a little darker and i didn't like it so i just basically increased the global illumination uh we're using v-ray for the uh for the rendering and it's uh very um i mean it's particularly looks like a you know 3d model uh it doesn't look nowhere close to being realistic but the but the idea is to get a feel of you know how uh, i would like the machine to um look like so it's a rough prototype it does have some legs and and a gripper, something that I'm thinking of uh, how to incorporate into the system. Uh, it'll have two propellers, and uh, it'll have two brushless DC motor. It'll have two uh, gimbal motors or servo motors um, uh, or uh, stepper motors, depending um, on how you want to call it, for uh, moving the quadcopter, moving these these drones um, uh, forward and backward. So there'll be four motors, two propellers. Um, maybe in the maybe in the future version you'll have grip grip grippers, uh, but for the more or less you know this is uh, the uh, the bare idea of what we're trying to build over here.
all right so yeah that's the um, that's the uh, setup and hopefully by the end of the in, in between 6 to between september to the end of the year uh, we'll try to take these designs and actually make a real flying product and uh, yeah that's uh, that's our progress uh, thank you all and if you like what we're doing uh, do subscribe to our channel um, it's going to there's going to be a lot of this educational content you know a lot of cad modeling uh, a lot of fabrication so we're really looking at a product and saying okay what are the tools required in order to make it and bring it to life and if that's something that interests you uh, do subscribe and you'll be notified um, whenever a new video of is posted thank you so much